We are heading out on one of the most epic island tours right here in paradise. We are staying just outside the main part of General Luna, so we are on the side of the road looking for a tuk-tuk. Uh, oh, there we go, I think there's one coming right now. Hello, 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 hello. How are you, my friend? Uh, to BDO? Yeah. Yes? Perfect, thank you. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. What's your name, my friend? Gio. Gio? What a cool you name. Want, you want this standing to this I go? No, we've been here for like two weeks now. How long have you been driving a tricycle for? Three years. Three years? Yeah. And you had this same one the whole time? Yeah. Same tricycle for three years. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome. Yes. Have a nice day. Now it's time to see a man about a boat. Right guys, we found our man and we are now walking through the sea to get to our boat. There she is, our mode of transport for these beautiful islands. So everybody, this is Chris. Uh, this is our boat driver. Going to island hoping. Uh, naked island. Is first. that where we're going first? Naked island. Yay! Yeah, let's get naked! Let's get naked! Naked island! What's your name, my friend? Dudes! Dudes! Yeah. Dudes! Dudes! Dude. Hey, dude! <laughs> Dudes and Chris, how long until Naked Island? 30 minutes. 30 minutes? For you guys, one minute! What the hell have we just rocked up to? Wow, I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. This is next level paradise. It's literally a, a pile of sand in the middle of the ocean. I can't believe it. extraordinary extraordinary place never seen anything like this right now we have got this whole island all to ourselves so this is our own private island so if anyone wants to make any bids leave them in the comments down below <laughs> Hey guys, we just want to take a quick minute here and say a big thank you to today's sponsor, Surfshark. Surfshark is a VPN, which stands for Virtual Private Network, and it's something that everyone should have on their devices in 2022. Surfshark protects you and the data on your devices from potential hackers and viruses looking to steal your sensitive information while connected to public networks. When you turn Surfshark on, it acts like a shield over your data, ensuring that you are free to browse or work on the go. But that's not all Surfshark has to offer. It also enables you to change the location that your computer thinks it's in to different countries around the globe with just a click of a button. We love to watch TV and movies from back home in the UK, but as we're traveling and given our physical location, that is not always possible. So all we do is change our location to the UK and in a matter of seconds, we have unlocked all the same content we could access just as though we were back home. Surfshark are currently offering viewers of this channel a whopping 83% off and three months free to try it out first. You even get a 30 day money back guarantee so there is literally no risk to trying it out whatsoever. Just use the code Adam and Yaz or click the link in the description below to take advantage of this incredible offer and get yourself protected right away. Yaz, we need to go, you know, it's not ours forever. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> okay. Bye, Naked Island. We have a confession to make. It's not really our own private island. <laughs> Why would you say that? That was a hop, skip, and a jump. And then just 15 minutes later, we are at Daku Island which is the biggest island of all three of the islands that we're going to be visiting. 
check it out we've got all these huts lined up families enjoying their picnics and loads of palm trees our favorite <laughs> such a nice vibe <laughs> so chill isn't it relax oh, they've got all smoothies they look nice i could be wrong but i think these are freshly planted coconut trees and there's one two three, three of them very very different location to naked island obviously it's a lot bigger loads of boats parked up and this is the best place to have lunch as well I can see there's quite a few groups of friends and families. Well, it looks like they're having a boodle fight. Is it having or eating a boodle fight? I'm not sure. But it's basically seafood and meat all laid out with rice on banana leaves. And the way that you eat it is only using your hands, which is really unique and also seems like such a fun way to eat your lunch. I am absolutely parched and I can see a stand over here with a bunch of lemons. Ooh. And that can only mean one thing, hopefully. When life gives you lemons. Lemonade. Hello. Do you have lemonade? Yes. Amazing. Yes, I will take a large, large cup. Yes. This is one cup piece. Oh, that is perfect. Wow. What flavour are these? This flavour is strawberry, mm. green apple, blueberry. Vinegar? Lychee. Lychee? Okay. Yeah, lychee only. This man is a lemonade connoisseur. Yeah. Which one do you recommend? Lychee. This one, we're good at lychee. Lychee. One lychee, one, one lychee. strawberry. <laughs> okay. yeah. it smells good. Syrup. Oh yes, loads of ice cubes, please. That swimming at Naked Island, I feel like my mouth is super glued shut. But now looking at this, I'm uh, salivating. Like strawberry, shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake. <laughs> wow. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. BBs.ph on Instagram. Instagram and Facebook, guys. Woo. Check Woo. him out. What's your name, my friend? Uh, Edgardo. 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 Edgardo, yes. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Thank you for the I'm lemonade. Nice to meet you. Nice to Thank meet you, you for again. the lemonade. Welcome. Looks delicious. I can't even wait one second to move somewhere else. He's going to have to deal with me drinking in front of the store. Which one am I having? You're having lychee. Okay. <laughs> exactly what my taste buds needed right now. Exactly. Okay, I need to try mine now. So we have a strawberry lemonade. <laughs> that is delicious. Adam and Yaz approved. Thanks. <laughs> that is amazing. Thanks. Wow, this is the best lemonade I've ever had. Honestly. You know guys, looking around here, seeing all these happy, happy families, eating, drinking and laughing. And then you look back here and you see a reminder of the worst thing that basically happened to this island in the last 40 years and it puts it into perspective really you don't need money to be happy you just need friends family food and love and good lemonade we're we going in their boat that's not even our boat yeah yeah we found the party boat apparently party welcome boat. to the party boat yeah hey. hey. oh what's this uh pundador pundador what's yeah. that this is the rum oh. <laughs> it's the filipino tradition okay no problem I'll happily take part in that tradition. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> hey, party <Ice>. boat. Oh, <laughs> wow. Very nice. What is your name? Carlo. Carlo. Oh, you? Nice to meet you. Adam. Adam, nice to meet you. Yes, meet Carlo. Nice to meet you. That is enough alcohol. It is time for a swim. Oh. I think it would be an absolute crime to not go for a swim right here, right now. The goggles don't work. Luckily, we had the foresight to buy some goggles beforehand. I'm going to use the proper stuff. <laughs> Good look, right?
guys, our third and final stop of the day is called Guyam Island and it's the most stereotypical tropical desert island I've ever seen. Well, I mean, apart from the I love Guyam sign and all of the huts thrown around the place, but still. Am I doing it right? I don't think you are, dear. Guys, you just missed it. <laughs> he actually tried to sit in it normally and completely missed the chair and fell on his butt. So something you guys might not know about our dear Yaz is that she used to do pole dancing as a hobby. And she's actually found a pole here to dance on. Not successfully, but... <laughs> so this island has got a really laid back kind of vibe to it. You've got groups of friends and they're playing some like really chill, tropical music. There's a bar over there as well, you can get some drinks. And also there's like a burger shack, which is really nice. And if you're hungry, you can grab some food. And you've got hammocks and palm trees. I think this is my favorite island. There used to be a basketball court here, maybe. I'm not sure how you would play on sand, but I'm sure the Filipinos find a way. We cannot believe it. On this tiny, tiny island, we have bumped into a subscriber, a lovely guy called Alvin. Alvin! Can I get a report? Yeah! I can't believe we met you here on this island. Alvin lives in Manila, so you've come to um, Chargal for how long? This whole day has been absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Can't believe it. I mean, Naked Island was like something that wasn't even real. Guyam Island is so chilled, laid back. I could spend the whole day here easily. Yeah. Daku Island is the biggest island of them all. And they have, it's like filled with so many coconut trees and palm trees. And you've got like one section of the island that is like a, a beach. So every island has got a different vibe, but they're all mostly very chill. Also, the cost of this tour was so reasonable. 1,500 pesos for the whole day and three islands. Can't recommend it enough. Hit up Chris and Dudes. Chris and Dudes. <laughs> dudes. So it's a few hours later now and we are standing outside one of our favorite restaurants here in Chargao. You guys could not stop recommending <laughs> this place in the comments. Not gonna lie, we've been here about- 10 times. Mm, pretty much every other night. We love it so much, the pizza, the pasta. Phenomenal, so guys. Good. And I'm starving we've worked up an appetite today let's hope we can even get a table because it is not easy in this place sometimes we don't even get a seat so we have to go elsewhere but hopefully today we'll get in hi hello oh. yeah. we're just kidding about the pizza and the pasta we actually just come in for the puppies <laughs> the pizza that comes out of this place is just fire it is insanely good and speaking of fire the hot sauce that comes with this pizza oh my god you guys know that I love my spice. The spicier, the better. But this stuff is like Satan had a baby with a dragon and then the baby puked up like really delicious hot sauce. That's what this tastes like. It's really, really good, but really, really intense. Yeah, I can't. I can have the tiniest, tiniest dab. It's so wacky. This pizza is next level. It is so delicious. How many times have we had this pizza? 11 billion. 11 billion times, cooked to perfection. And then the pasta comes with this massive oversized fork, which I love. <laughs> it's huge. So we've got you know a... you're not supposed to eat it with that. Oh, No, you eat it with your fork, you serve it with that fork. Oh, I know that. I mean, I knew that. Aglio e olio. Aglio e olio. That is so... Garlicky and delicious. Mm, now I have to pretend like I haven't had this 11 billion times. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> How do they do this? Alright guys, we're calling it there. That was one of the best travel days yet. Sun, sea, beach, pizza, what's not to like? And if you like this video, give it a like down below, hit subscribe and we will see you in the next video. Bye!